<laughs> oh, and of course, we have everybody's sweaty fat guy. All right. And he's always got the good stories. How you doing, Thumper? I'm doing good. What's up with you guys other than the obvious? <laughs> How cold is it down there? It's freaking cold up here, man. Cold. Uh, today, not too bad. Uh, we had a string of like four to five degree days. Yeah. And today was like 31, 32. So. Dude, it's below zero right now. Oh, yeah. That uh, doesn't shock me. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm not UP, so yeah, yeah, it's oh, dropping God. down to uh, like 17 degrees tonight. <sighs> That's about it. Florida's looking fucking good right now. <laughs> yeah, except for all the plastic chicks. Well, yeah, I mean, and it's all it's heaven's waiting room also. So you got yeah, like yeah. you know nasty Pelosi down by the swimming pool, and I'm not putting that up again. That's horrendous. <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, Jimmy would like it down there, wouldn't um, you, Jimmy? Oh, uh, I'm sure he would. That cougar hunting son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, him and Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they go to old lady bars for the early bird special and tag team that shit. Yep. They're spit roasting granny. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful when you high five over an old woman's back. You might break her hip. Oh, God. Stop it. What? <laughs> I'm Should not going to go over my mind. Just my respect for my elders, Pop. I'm just going to leave that one there. Not Jimmy can either confirm nor deny in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir, sweaty fat of guy, course. tell us your story. Okay. Uh, I do have one about getting caught with the cops. All right. Uh, and I have another one that's my buddy's story. And okay. hearing him tell it is awesome. So I'm going to try to do it justice. All right. Which one do you want to hear first? Both of them. Well, well, you can't tell first? both at the same time. He's not cloning <laughs> your buddy's, himself. Your, your uh, buddy's story first. <laughs> okay. So my buddy has this mom who's been divorced from her dad, his dad because she's nuts. But she was no, like no. in local TV station ads and stuff. This chick was fine. All right. But that's just like neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. Well, he was like 12, 13. Right. And mom takes off. She says, I'm going to the store. So he's like, okay, mom leaves. And he's looking at this couch that they have. And he's like, ah, that couch is just like the right height. If I kneel in front of it, you know, and he can like, <laughs> that's how right. the mind of a dick thinker works. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And he's like, you walk into just a room you've never been in. I could fuck on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're, you're missing it. Just, I could put it right in between the cushions. What? <laughs> So he sticks it between the cushions, and he's like just going, right? Just going and going. You gotta be fucking kidding me! He, he's doing the couch, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not on the couch. He's doing the couch. He's this is like American man. Pie with the apple pie thing. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. It's great. Oh no! Didn't it hurt? Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I've never done it. He lube up the leather cushions. <laughs> oh, it was velour. It was velour. <laughs> oh man, you haven't come until you fucked velour. I'm telling you, <laughs> there's more to that. But now they won't let me back into Gardner White anymore. Oh, God, this Lord. is where it gets cool, right? Okay, so he hears the door close, and he hears, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and he goes, "Uh, looking for spare change." And she <laughs> says, "You're not gonna find it like that." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, oh, the, the way that he does it is bad. awesome. He turns it into like a five-minute story. It's just, That's just so wrong on so many levels. Yeah. Wow. I can imagine walking into the room and just seeing them be like. Well, it was just his mom, not his dad. His dad would have been like, go, son. Yeah, you, cool. you, you do it. I don't uh, know, man. <laughs> That's that's uh that's weird. Your parents you walk know, in at the same you, time and start whispering to each other. What should we do? Eh, he'll stop now, as soon as he comes. The, the kicker, <laughs> the kicker is this is one of my car buddies, right? And he's got his garage all done up with you know cool signs and stuff that he gets out of the dump and people give them to him and whatnot, and he gets them on yard sales, you know, like the neon Arby sign, stuff like that. And it's just like all this crap all over the walls that make it look cool. And this couch was in his garage and everybody sat on it until he built one out of the back of a 58 fury <laughs> i could respect that <laughs> oh, <it> Soto. <laughs> wow jimmy in the yeah. chat says gives a whole new meaning to fuck your couch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay you want to hear the cop story yeah, absolutely yeah. okay this is before i went back to the military in 2000 
So it was like 97, 98 and got two little kids. It's a pain in the ass to get away to get a little, you know, and the ex was on one of her bipolar ju- horny June Cleaver moments. Mm. So well, that never happens. We're, we're out at my parents' farm and there's definitely nowhere to do it out there. Right. <laughs> so we take off and it's all gravel roads in Nebraska. So we go out and I know this one spot and I pull in there and it's near the interstate, but there's trees and stuff. So you really can't see my car and it's my uh, old 72 goat. Right. So, and mm-hmm. that thing has a lot of stories. I hope it never gets the ability to talk, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're on this dirt road and it's a dead end. The dead ends at the inter- at interstate 80. Right. And it's a mile from either uh, overpass. So this is like the dead mile. And, you know, me and the old lady, we're just tearing after it, just going. And she's doing the whole thing like Rose on the Titanic and putting her hand up on the foggy glass. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> draw me like one of your French girls. Nice. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, the whole car kind of lights up. And I'm like, um, this is a problem. Wah. And sure enough, there's a cop and he's got all of his lights. He's not flashing or anything because he's just off the interstate, but he just like turns his spots on mm-hmm. and the headlights and everything. He snuck up on us and just poof, illuminated us. And he sees my head pop up over the, in the back window. And I went, oh, so mad thrash. She put something on and I pulled my pants back on. And this is a cool <laughs> night. Nebraska is kind of chilly in the evenings and the fall time, right? Yeah. So he walks up and he's like, what are you guys doing? And he's like, I was like, what do you think we're doing? He's like, why are you doing it out here? Because I can't get a babysitter. (laughs) (laughs) I just left the kids with grandma. Okay. So. Okay. And and he's like, all right, all right, all right. And uh, he's like, you're not drinking in there? I'm like, nope, not drinking. And he's like, sure, you're not drinking. Let let me smell that can. And I'm like, here's the can. This is Coke. (laughs) Damn it. Yeah. So, but uh, we weren't drinking. We were banging. You know? Hey. And we got the whole the whole rigmarole about, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. Go get a motel room, the whole thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I was like, can I finish? And he's like, no, no, no. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> can I finish? No. <laughs> get the hell out of here. That's how I feel every time I watch the opening scene of Minority Report. You know, that they, they stop the dude from killing his wife, who he's caught red-handed about to bone the shit out of her, you know, her yeah, affair yeah. partner or whatever. You're under arrest for the future merger of Donald Marks and whatever. Like, if you're going to arrest me, at least let me kill the guy first. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. I, I have a quick one with uh, a girlfriend before I enlist. Oh, I'm person. sure you oh, do. Here we go. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I was like shacking up with her and her mom, trailer park girl. You know, her mom lived in a trailer park, worked at the fur farm. You know what a fur farm is? Hmm. Women's prison. Oh. oh, okay. I was like, is that when they don't trim their bush? No, 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 no. It's a women's case. prison. She was a counselor teacher up there. Right. So this is like a mile away from the fur farm, a little trailer park out there. A little bit of nowhere in Nebraska. I'm sure Jimmy can attest to how the trailer parks are out there when they ain't getting hit by tornadoes. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure he can. Hey, Jimmy, how them women out there in them near trailer parks, boy? <laughs> <laughs> trailer park girls are kind of unique. If you haven't hit it yet, well, you're gonna. Yeah, only uh, anyway. I do cheetah flips with no teeth. Well, all you really got to do is just <laughs> drive through the uh, trailer park with a bullhorn saying you'll, uh, you know, pay their electric or gas bill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy's in the chat says, can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like safe housing on the Navy bases with a tie in the window. But anyway. <laughs> mm. So me and uh, the girl. You know, and this is like, I'm like 18. She's like 17. And uh, we're, we're doing the Neil Armstrong year. You know what that is? No. 69. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows history but me. <laughs> <This fucking room. laughs> okay. All right. We're doing the year I was born. Yeah, and we're man. just, you know, and it's all fingers and toes. And we're, we're just really, you know, and I hear the floor creak. Is that actually, is that the noise that it makes? Because if you did it, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, yeah. There's no lube. I think there's something wrong here. 
Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, there's some cobwebs. No, it's not cobwebs. That's something else entirely shaped like cobwebs, but it's not cobwebs. It's a xenomorph. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming for you. But, uh, <laughs> they mostly come at night. So most. I hear, yeah, mostly. But I hear the floor creak, and I'm like, uh, and I just like stop, and I like, you know, lift her up with my chest because I was on the bottom and she was going, and I kind of like just pick her up and I fling her off to the side and then I just roll over because I still had my clothes on. I was just unzipped. Right. Uh huh. So I roll over and I just like played like I was asleep. <laughs> Cause that <laughs> her mom, her mom comes, to, comes to the door of her room, which is cracked open. Right. And she's like, Hey, what are you guys up to? And uh, girlfriend says he's sleeping. And she's like, you're awful loud for being sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I just I played it off. I was like, I'm just gonna lay here. I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> just yeah. gonna lay here. Not this is problem. not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.